This is the last video of tonight, day one. It's amazing how it was such a beautiful day and now after all that rain and that is still, it's just all misty. You can't even see those hills that we were showing you before. They're all gone. So I am going to have a wee wee and then I'm going to zip up and go to bed because I am tired. Well, that's a way to be walking up in the morning, isn't it? What is it? Eh? What is it? Just a couple of sheep. <laughs> How did you sleep? Good. Yeah. So hot though. Well, it's better than being too cold, isn't it? <laughs> eh? mm. Those sheep were what noisy. What? What are you doing? It's too early in the morning. What time is it though? It's ten past eight. It's not early. <laughs> There's a fly on you. Mm. <laughs> is it because of a sheep? That's why the sort of fly. Yeah. <laughs> So, for the next day. Looks nice. Blue sky. You can't eat beet, bacon. When you're camping. <laughs> and there you are, one big sandwich for you. I think of all the foods you can have when you're camping. The one thing you could never beat. I'm sorry, vegetarians, but you can not beat bacon when you're outdoors. Fantastic. I'm hoping we can get out of this field because there's an awful lot of rain as you will have seen. So let's hope we can uh, get a little gav up that hill yeah. and out onto the gate. Place, isn't it? Yeah. What's it called? Mm -hmm. So we're on a quest to see if we can find some Scottish lawn sausage and some Scottish rolls. Yeah. Hopefully it'll be a mission successful. Let me get off this roll before I'm knocked over. <laughs> it's sad like it must be really affecting tourism because it's like as oh, you can see that? it's really really quiet. Down there. Oh. Yeah. We're well, not going to stop first, yeah? Okay. Obviously they're making up for the lack of tourism and charging for Scottish sausage. Two slices, £1.75. Jesus. <laughs> I don't mind that one in the garden. Lovely, isn't it? Um, 
That is so lovely because it's so expensive. You've had to sell the car to afford it though. How much for this apartment you just sell? No, I don't think there's much as that, but not for It depends, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I got a nice shot. <laughs> this is what I call forest. Go back to the smallest crew car in the world. Ten feet. It must be some kind of beginner's course, surely. It's bloody useless. <laughs> like I've, ne I've never done it before, but I'm sure I could do better than that. Bar humbug. <laughs> burn for a couple of hours and I'm enjoying the view.
Good. So Chris, after eating all that food, a monster portion, two monster portions of pasta and meatballs, said that she was going to have five minutes sit down in a hammock, which in Filipino language means, I bet she's fast asleep. Let's see. Just a random little video while I'm bored waiting for Chris to wake up. I love these things. Two power bricks. They are absolutely great. And with my solar charger, when you've got days like uh, we had this morning, we had full sun, it was enough to power one of these right back up again. Not bad. Free energy and takes all the worry away from running out of power when you're in the middle of nowhere. Chris man, stop it. <laughs> you can't, I don't care you got the camera, you can't have to tell you're bored, you start irritating people. Why don't you put that down and enjoy it? <laughs> Adamant, she wants to make the fire tonight, so that's Kirsty. I'm happy for that. How many times is it going to take? <laughs> I'm not as good as you. Concentration on the face. <laughs> Using my homemade fire lighters. Homemade fire lighters, which is from the wool and the Vaseline. Yep, cotton wool and Vaseline. Make sure you use the sharp edge. No, nope, that's the wrong way around. Sharp. No, that's the wrong way around, Chris. It's the other way around. That's it. And make sure. You... No, Chris. Oh, honey. Work it out. You can do it. That's it. Ah. Wow, that was all right, wasn't it? It is. All right, get it loaded up with little twigs. Get it loaded up, Chris. <laughs> the fire challenge is on you. Straight away, the smell of smoke makes me feel good. coming from across the lock. You want to move then? <laughs> there you are. See, that's a straight away cure. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's like, move the bloody seat. <laughs> it's not difficult, is it? not a rocket science, is it? Well, clearly it is for you. <laughs> that's a good fire you got there, Chris. Well done.
here watching the fire and all of a sudden trout has started to top. I can't believe it. The wind's dropped down. I originally packed all my fishing gear away thinking there's no point at all and now I'm in a panic because there's fish topping out there. Right, I want a big, big, massive dry fly to go on the top here. Let me pick a dry fly. I'm going for a mayfly here. I know it's the wrong time of year, but it's big. I'm on a big lock. Yeah, pure excitement. There's trout, trout arising. The trout are coming up. It's like a mirror. Come on. But honey, the gentleman there on the marina says we're in the wrong lock for the trout. Ah, bollocks to that. I can catch fish in the bloody desert anyway. <laughs> 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 bollocks to that, honestly. <laughs> So, it's our very last night here at Lot 10 and it's raining again, which yeah. isn't a bad thing. We don't mind that. We knew it was coming. I love so, it. well, I'd love it to, it's honest, to be honest. So, that's one thing I love here. It's the rain. Right, let's do an honest <laughs> review. As far as I'm concerned, when I came here, it's not a touch on Lock Off, to be honest. It's no, not like it's far, not. Far, it's. Away. It's too open for me. There's too much traffic. There's too many people. There's too much water boats on the lock. So I was like, hmm. However, in the last three days, it's actually started to grow on me. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, it's, it's, I would say it's a good place to come if you're a newbie to wild camping. Uh, but, you know, would I come back? Yeah, I would. I would come back to do pike fishing. It's not a place to go trout fishing, uh, but I would certainly come back to try pike fishing. Mm -hmm. Chris, what's your opinion on the place? Like I've said, there's no place like home, honey. So if Lock or I consider Lock as a home, then to be honest, I'm not really keen of this. Like what you said, it's an open space. I miss the forestry. I miss the collecting of foods in the morning. Um, to hear the lapping of the water and the uh, sounds of the owl at night. I couldn't get it from here. But then, because you're happy, I'm happy as well. Well, can't be any more honest to that. It's not a criticism. It's just an observation that, uh, you know, <laughs> I miss Loco and I want to go back. But, honey, wait. The landowner is really nice to us. Oh, the land, the yeah. landowner. There's no no criticism to yeah. to the person who this belongs to. Yeah, the, really the place is, is spectacular. What I think it is 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 we've been spoiled to possibly being and stopping yeah. like for the last couple of years to, to the most scenic and to the most perfect place in the United Kingdom. So nothing will compare. But we're so, very safe here though. Oh, very, very, very safe. Very safe. Very safe. Mm -hmm. This morning we woke up to gunshots. 
<laughs> and then yesterday, the, we heard two. Oh no, no sorry, not two. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Filipino way. One, two. <laughs> yeah, go on. You heard what this morning? Twice the ch 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 gunshot, isn't it? Is um, it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I just misheard it. <clears throat> yeah. It's good if you like to hear gunshots very, very close. <laughs> good night. Good we'll night. See, we'll see you tomorrow. Mm, bye bye. Come on, Chris. Wakey, wakey. Rise and shine. It's time to get out of bed. I'm awake, though. I don't want to go out first. Well, no. I'm going to make some breakfast, which is going to be the most expensive sausage <laughs> in the whole the of sausage. Scotland. <laughs> we'll have that and a cup of coffee, and then we'll pack up and we'll hit the road back home. I have chocolate for me, please. Yeah, hot chocolate for you. No problem. Thank you. Morning. Morning. Good, enjoy. Thank you. You're welcome. The breakfast is nearly done. There we go, that concludes our three day trip to Loch Ken. It's been a good stay, hopefully we'll be back again soon. Uh, remember the three golden rules, we always say it, leave nothing but footprints, take nothing but pictures and kill nothing but time. The simple rules of wild camping. See you again on Pikey Mikey. Bye! Bye And don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>